What's up you guys, Nicola Maserati here. So one of the questions I get asked all the time is how do I downscale my footage from 4K to 1080? Today, that's what we're gonna be talking about. That's what you guys are gonna be learning. So let's run that intro. <laughs> Right, guys so like i said one of the main questions i hear asked all the time is how do i downscale my footage from 4k to 1080. the second question i hear asked all the time is why do i want to downscale my footage from 4k to 1080. one of the reasons you may want to downscale your 4k footage to 1080 is if you plan on doing any digital zooming for example if you're doing a talking head video like I'm doing right now for your YouTube or if you're doing an interview video for one of your clients and you want to kind of bring a different dynamic into it and kind of bring some life into the video instead of just having one angle you want to zoom in a little bit and maybe put them in the thirds to kind of create a little bit more of a dynamic in there if you wanted to do that with 1080 you can but when you zoom in and you do all that stuff it's not going to look very sharp and it's not going to look that great so shooting in 4k and down sampling to 1080 is the best solution actually that's what we're going to be learning as well today so not only am i going to be teaching you guys how to downsample your footage from 4k to 1080 but i'm also going to be teaching you guys how to get two different camera angles using one camera and you won't lose quality so let's get into premiere all right guys so we are in adobe premiere pro right now as you can see i have my clip imported so what i'm going to be showing you here is how to number one downscale a clip from 4k to 1080 but i'm also going to be showing you how to do the multi-cam so you can get two different angles for your video so we're going to be doing kind of both in one so you're going to learn two things at once pretty cool so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to right click your clip and you're gonna go to duplicate. So we duplicated the 4K clip. Now that we have the copy of the original clip, we're gonna select both of those. We're gonna right click and go to create multicam source sequence. Once you click that, you'll see the settings here. Make sure audio is clicked and on track channel one, and then make sure the move source clips is unchecked and go ahead and click okay. Now what that's done is that's created a sequence from these two clips, the original and the copy. So now what you do is you take that multicam sequence, you drag that here, and that's going to create a multicam sequence in your timeline. So because nothing has been done yet, this is just a normal clip. So let's just go ahead and see how that sounds. All right, so we're going to zoom in and out. So if I give it a snap, zooms in, we give it another, another snap, zooms out, I give it another snap, zooms in, and if I give it another snap, it zooms out. Multicamera angles. We're going to downsample this from 4K to 1080. So all you have to do for that is you go to your sequence, go down to secret settings and change the frame size from 3840 by 2160 to 1920 by 1080. That's all you gotta do. Your image has been downscaled from 4K to 1080. Now, as you can see, it did zoom in a little bit. So we're gonna take the scale and we're gonna bring it to 50 and that's gonna bring it back to the original size that it was. So now what we wanna do is we wanna get in to edit the individual clips. So as you can see here, it kinda looks like a nested clip. So when you have a nested clip, um, when you double click it, it opens it up and you see everything within that nested clip. So all you have to do is hold down control. If you're on a Mac, that would be command and hold that down and double click the clip and it opens up this multicam sequence here where you have both clips, the copy and the original. So the first thing that it does automatically is it selects both clips. We wanna unselect both clips. So all you have to do is just click outside of that. Now this is gonna be the clip that we're editing to uh, be zoomed in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that's selected, the top clip, the copy, and you're gonna just do your adjustment. So however you wanna do it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in here Maybe about there and then I'm going to move myself. There we go and move myself to the thirds right about there is good. So once you have that copy uh, zoomed in all the way you like it and it's all composed the way you like it, go back to the original sequence here. You're going to go to the wrench here and you're going to go to multi camera. Once you're back in here, you'll notice that we have the original clip here. And then if I click over here, it's the zoomed in copy clip. So we've done all the hard work. Now it's super easy. All you have to do to go back and forth is while your timeline is going, every time you want it to zoom in, you just click the zoomed in clip in this area here. And when you want it to zoom out, you click back over here. Super easy. So we're gonna go ahead and hit play right now and we're gonna click back and forth for when we want it to zoom and we want it to zoom out. So we're gonna do that here really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. All right, so we're gonna zoom in and out. So if I give it a snap, zooms in, you give it another, another snap, zooms out, 
They give it another snap, zooms in, and if I give it another snap, it zooms out. Multi-camera angles. All right, so it is as simple as that. It cut all of that right where I wanted it to be cut, but every time it hits that point where you want it to go while your timeline is playing, you just click the other clip and it'll automatically do it for you. So it's super easy, super quick. So now that we've done all that editing, let's have a look at the finished product. All right, so we're gonna zoom in and out. So if I give it a snap, zooms in. If I give it another, another snap, zooms out. If I give it another snap, zooms in. And if I give it another snap, it zooms out. Multi-camera angles. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. I hope you got something from it. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit a like below. And I'm just curious, actually, I don't know if you guys noticed, but from some of my other videos, I'm kind of doing a different kind of uh, different type of angle here, you know? I usually do it sitting this way, and you know, you guys are looking at my window here, but I decided to kind of do it this way just to I don't know, make it seem a little bit different. So I actually wanna know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments below. And like I always say guys, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.